hopefully this works out here. Uh, if you're ever wondering how to take a washer apart, whew, uh, got these little clips in the back. You have to push the, uh, I think it's the front, and then these little clips here that go in. They hook onto the wall thing on the back. They kind of go in. I don't know, I think it was like that. And uh, you gotta have this head unit off when you put them back in. This head unit has a uh, couple screws. There's a screw over here underneath, and there's a screw over there. The other one just has clips on this. They changed them. My plastic drum blew out and shot water all over the floor. And uh, that's our new one. And this is our old one. I'll show you here. So we take this head out. See, there's a screw there. And you get the screw on the other side. So what you have to do is uh, get this plastic frame off here, which I believe you take this screw and that screw out, and then uh, it slides apart or something. I don't really care. I got it out anyways without it. I'm pretty sure it's those two screws, and then it does something. You do the screws, and then there's little screws underneath here. You gotta get two. Should I assume it's something like that? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna be transplanting a drum into our new one. And uh, to get this off, you got all these things in the back, so you're best off taking all these little tabs and clips like this. And uh, they go in sideways, do all kinds of funny things. Like this one here hooks up up here, this way, like that, into there. So you push all those plastic clips back in with a couple needle nose and uh, get your thing off, take this off and out of the way. And once you get that back, you can walk it forward from the shell. Just be careful with all this stuff. All these things unscrew, there's a whole bunch of bolts. And uh, get your stuff out of the way and then replace your drum. I noticed this thing was. The clips were off on the other one, so I'm going to take it apart and uh, try to make a nice one out of it. I don't know what I'll do with this barrel, if I'll clean it or what, but it's got lots of residue on the sides of it. I think it's because it wasn't spinning right, but it, this one isn't leaking, so we're going to take this big old Rubbermaid uh, washing machine and make something of the new one. Hopefully this works. And yeah, if you want to reach those clips, you open up your door and they're up inside. It's weird, this one has a button here on the front. And the new ones have a button on the door hinge on the inside so you can't stick your finger in there to watch it spin. Because people have just, uh, I guess, obliterated everything with uh, making new safety features. I mean, I pity the fool that can't mow in reverse and has to hit the button, but whatever. So, I'm going to take these out. These are like quarter inch. And uh, get this pump out. And it should just be the bend, but I think it will come up once I get this thing out. i got to pull the clip on the shaft and all kinds of stuff. Ooh, look, a spider. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I'll get this out and see what happens. I need a laundry machine. Okay, this is how you remove the barrel. Uh, you take this clip off, this clip, and it's all in the center shaft. I mean, you got that drum in there. This will be in here, like that, screwed on, normal tight. So you take a hammer and some channel locks. You take your channel locks, grip them like that, and then you hammer this corner while you're turning, and it'll knock it enough to spin it. And then, your new drum, there's a little rubber here, so clean that. I'm going to spray this with some grease and uh, rub all this crap off with a towel. And then you just pull up. and uh, See, it slides down. Then you pull up. But you want to make sure you're careful with this. Spray it with grease and stuff. Slide that out and uh, put it on your new one. Now you had to do the same thing. Look at all this crap. Ugh. This came with the house, but this is cleanable. So, I got a donor. I gotta check the bottom and make sure I'm not gonna waste my time putting it in because it cracked at the bottom where it was leaking. But this one looks good, so 
I think I'll put it in the new one. Hold well on. Here's the old bin. She's cleaner than the new one, but that's because it has the uh, spin on it. So at the bottom here, that's where she cracked. And I could probably fix that with JB Water Weld. But the problem with it is that on the side of the bin, there's a little tube that goes to the chlorine thing, or the bleach thing, <coughs> on the side of the washing machine. And there's nothing on it. The one I took out of the other one has a little tube, so I guess the... Uh, whole time when we bought this washer it was leaking bleach onto the floor when you pour it into the little container because the uh, tube is not there and that's where the tube is supposed to hook up to in a little dish so I guess the new bin makes a big difference and uh, I washed it out and got the gunk out of it so it should be clean enough I put some uh, CLR soap let it run by itself but that's where it's supposed to go down and uh, it's uh, now going to work, so I guess that's why the side of the thing was all rusty on it. Sorry I didn't get the rest of the video for it, but uh, it's all done. It's not pouring on the floor anymore. Old Barney had to uh, clean that up when I started out to test it. But that was a big project, so she's all done. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. She's still spinning too. Look at her go. All right. Okay, go for it. Okay. Probably that's too good for the car.